welcome to the workshop. This is just a short video on using a steel rule for both measuring and marking out. If we wish to measure, for example, the width of this component, we could just slap the rule on like this, roughly push it up to the edge and have a look over there and say, oh, that's roughly 7.4 centimeters but if we wish to be accurate we take a few more steps first of all we introduce an abutment to one edge this stops the steel rule from going any further than the edge so that the zero on the rule is exactly on the edge of our component. It also makes sure that our ruler is perpendicular to the edge which will make a difference to our reading. Our ruler has a certain thickness to it so we're still not putting the measuring divisions up against the component we're measuring. So, in fact, we still get errors. So what we should do is hold our ruler up vertically. Then the graduations are touching the component we're measuring. We place our abutment as before to maintain perpendicular to the other side we'll use an engineer's square and then once we've got this set up we can measure off precisely the width of our component and I hope you can see that this provides a much more accurate way of measuring. An alternative way of making that measurement is to use a flat surface, put your component on it with the edge from which you want to measure against the flat surface, use a tri-square to make sure your ruler is upright, place the ruler on the flat surface against the tri-square and against the component and again you can measure off directly where the graduations are touching the opposite edge of the component. For taking measurements when you want to mark out we use a similar procedure we have a knife line on this component here if we want to put another knife line 10 centimeters away from it perhaps then we're going to cut or maybe we're going to put a dado in there if we place an abutment against that edge that will hold our ruler perpendicular slide it close to the knife line on the zero point, place a knife in the knife line and because this knife has got a bevel on both sides of the blade I'm angling it slightly so that the bevel comes out perpendicular to the work. Move our ruler up against the knife, lock everything in position, then place the blade of the knife in the 10 division etched in the ruler slide it down to the work and make a little mark in fact you can leave your knife sitting in the wood there remove the measuring equipment come in with your tri-square up against the, the knife blade and then you can make your mark 
and that is accurately set 10 centimeters back from the previous knife line. If we want to make a knife line at a certain measurement from the end of a component, then we need an abutment against the end for which we can use the stock of this tri square. We can place our rule against that. And then to hold it up vertically, again we'll use a second abutment. Lock those into position. Place the knife into the measurement we want. Slide it down to the wood. Make a slight mark. And we can knife our line. And in this case, we're now exactly 10 centimeters from the end of our component. Those are the simple ways of using a steel rule to make accurate measurements on your components. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and maybe learned something from it. If you did enjoy it, please like it, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, there'll be plenty more interesting videos, and if you do subscribe, you'll be the first to know when they get published. <laughs>